We are so pleased to be joined on the phone by the head coach of the unbeaten Pearland Oilers. It is Coach Tony Heath. Coach, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing today? Man, we are we are hanging in there on a on a day when it seems like weather is just dominating the news. Uh, but I imagine that you're happy to have a week off, though. You know, I guess you're kind of in two ways. Uh, number one, definitely a chance to to recoup and uh, hopefully get back in a little bit of get some you know our kids well, and then also not having to fight this weather. Your your time at at Pearland, you guys have always dominated defensively that's always been where it started for your Oilers and how important has it been for you to institute a culture in which defense comes first well you know uh we've all, I've always been a, a coach that I've you know in the years I've been here I never wanted to have a team that you know worry about let's just have an all offensive team or all defensive team and then we'll pick the other side up we've tried to be balanced on both sides uh, fortunately, and yes, our defense has uh, has has shown has had great strides throughout the years. Has a good history here in Pearland, and uh, but you know, and, and it's to me, it's very important to play defense. Uh, you know, number one, it shows I think your physicality and, and so forth. And but uh, it's it's been a part of our culture. Uh, you know, and I'm even on the offensive side. I'm not a defensive coach. I coach on the offensive side, but I know the importance of the defense. And uh, you know, I never and I'm always trying to. Uh, make sure that we have a good defense he is tony heath head coach of the parallel oilers joining us on dctf live joins the conversation at hashtag dctf live uh, coach the guy offensively that's really impressed me uh, has been your quarterback connor blumrick a guy who it seems to me has really matured as the season has gone on what have you seen from your signal caller that makes you feel good about the future you know he he has uh, he each week the biggest thing I like and that I've seen is he's improved each week. Uh, we started out the season using two quarterbacks and we actually still use two quarterbacks now. We use Connor and and Jacob. Both of them are throwing over sixty percent. Both of them are getting some time. But uh, you know Connor he he's got all the tools to be a really special kid. He's he's six five you know one ninety five two hundred and he's starting to make he's starting to make good decisions and uh, decisions of a disciplined quarterback and. Uh, you know, uh, I think maturity is a big part of it. Uh, I think he's in learning to play that role. You've got to, you got to develop that that maturity of not only you know of being a leader, uh, where kids can trust you, that people can trust you, and people know that uh, that have confidence in what you can do. That's that's half the persona of playing the quarterback position, uh, and then taking it out on the field and, and and being able to distribute the ball to where you need to. And he's been able to do that, uh, and, you know, week 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 by week a little better. Of course. The Pearland teams that we know and the Pearland teams that have really dominated in the past have also run the ball really well, and it seems like that's no exception this year. Davier Pinkston and Ronald Adams, uh, among others, have had an outstanding year. When you put together a game plan, is it run first? Is that always your, your first priority? No. I mean, obviously, we're, we're going to try to find uh, ways that we can be successful in the running game, but no, not always. I mean, we've had games that you know, go back to the semifinals against uh, San Antonio Madison. Uh, we knew that <laughs> we're going to have a tough day running the ball. Mm-hmm. I think we threw the ball 40 times that game. Uh, that's not, you know, uh, we always want to try to figure that out. But we're an offense that, that we're going to use. We're going to be in multiple formations and multiple situations. And we don't want to – we try not to handicap ourselves one side of the ball, one, I mean, one way or the other, into where, you know, we're only a run-first team or only a pass-first team. We want to be able to have the capabilities to do first. You know, that's our that's our dream. Is it always going to happen? No, but that's our that's what our desires to do are. We're talking with Tony Heath, head coach of the Parallel Oilers, here on DCTF Live. Coach, your defense has ten different guys with an interception this year. Uh, how in the world did you pull <laughs> that off? That is outrageous. Well, I think you definitely call that team ball, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> we do i don't know you know we we play different kids uh uh in the secondary we you know we're we play if you if you have the opportunity if you feel like you can play we're gonna play you and uh it's been good it's helped our depth we've grown our depth that way uh been able to get kids to uh play late in the game and it's helped us on the injury note and and doing that uh you know i didn't even you, you told me a stat i didn't even actually <laughs> here we go so, all uh, right I, i'm good we're one. here to help I'm br- good I'm... but uh you know, I, and it, it, it is nice to see that a lot of people are getting able to get 
get the interception. People are doing those things. We're talking with Tony Heath. Coach, obviously a change this year. You've played state title games at NRG Stadium. You ho- Obviously, it's a ways away, but on the horizon, NRG Stadium, uh, a, a bit of a home field advantage. Uh, if you guys get there, and that's a long way away, but if you guys get there, do you view that as a bit of an advantage as somebody who's played uh, away from home? Ah, you know, I don't. I don't know. It'll be nice. To, it'll be nice to play if you, whoever gets to play in NRG Stadium. It's going to be nice to be here in Houston to let, you know, showcase Houston, Texas. Uh, obviously, we've been going to Dallas the last few years, and we all know Jerry's World. Uh, you know, uh, AT and T Stadium is uh, quite a special place. And uh, and but uh, we, you know, we're proud of NRG. Uh, we're proud of Houston, Texas, and uh, we're excited for people to have to come down this way for once. Uh, you know, I know they did a few years back, but. Uh, 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 we're excited uh, whether home field advantage or not. I think you get to that point. Uh, the excitement of the game uh, outweighs whether home field or not. Of course, you guys have to finish your regular season first. And I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a there's a pretty decent team week for you <laughs> next Friday. Uh, <laughs> when you when you look at at this Manville team that you'll be taking on next Friday, uh, a lot of different ways that they can beat you without giving too much away. Uh, what are the keys for you guys to come out of, of Alvin Memorial Stadium with a win? Ah, you know, uh, maybe they won't show up. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe they'll forget. Uh, no, uh, we're excited about it. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, you, uh, Manville is one of the elite teams in the state of Texas, might be one of the elite teams in the United States right now. They've got, they've got tremendous athletes, a lot of D1 commits, and uh, they do a good job over there. But, uh, you know, very fast and very – and. Uh, very athletic, you know. For to have success against them, number one, you can't give them you can't give them uh, just undeserved opportunities. You can't just turn the ball over to them and just hand them the ball. You've got to control the ball. You got to run and throw. Uh, you can't give up the big plays. You know the little the, the little cliche words that you always use are, are very true in a game like this. Uh, you've got to try to get into the four, to me, honestly and truly, you got to get in the fourth quarter uh, with an opportunity to win, and then let the momentum of the game carry it whichever way it goes. He is Tony Heath, the head coach of the Parallel Oilers. And if you're listening, Manville, uh, you guys got a big game next Saturday. So uh, <laughs> get excited. Uh, coach, uh, we appreciate your time and uh, best of luck the rest of the way. And uh, maybe we'll see you at NRG Stadium. And that'd be a trip. I, I would hope so. But uh, more so, appreciate you guys and what you do. And uh, we'll see you down the road. Absolutely, Coach. Awesome. Appreciate you.